Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Welcome to Radku Tarot, and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for April 1st to April 6th, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Virgo Star Sign. And uh, for that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, every single different Virgo. But should you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation, to be analyzed by me through Tarot, giving you a, a predictions for, prediction for it, uh, for its future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services, as well as their pricings, starting from just as little as $12 for the uh, recorded readings and $15 for the private readings, uh, private call readings. So that being set aside, going to the Virgo spread and the first card, which is marking the topic of the Virgo week, that is going to be the Ace of Wands, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach to all the situation. That is going to be uh, the Magician. Then what we do have it is the positive approach to all the situation that is going to be the Queen of Cups. And the last card, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the Moon card. So once again, uh, we do have the Ace of Wands, which is uh, the uh, topic of your week, followed by the Magician, which sits on a negative position. Afterwards, that is going to be the Queen of Cups, which sits on a positive position. And the last one, that is going to be the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here. So Virgos, my friends, you are to uh, make either or you are to take advantage of either new beginning or a, a very, very gainingful new enterprise that is coming into your life this week, April 1st to April 6th, 2019, displayed here by the topic, which is exactly that, either a new beginning or either a, a very gainingful enterprise. A new beginning or an enterprise which will allow you to further develop your skills, your knowledge, your capabilities as well. And you are to experience high energy for new projects and in generally, you know, for new endeavors that you, you to jump in. So it does look like a, a week of... I cannot say really hyperactivity, but it's going to be a very, very interesting week, which, you know, if you are feeling especially bored, well, that week is going to, that, that week is going to stir your life once again. But the Ace of Wands could relate into literally everything, you know, from new love interest into a new job proposition and so on and so forth. It just, it represents everything new. It's the spark of life. It is the spark of inspiration. Therefore, whatever new enterprise or a new beginning, it's emerging for you throughout this week. It's definitely going to be inspiring and is going to charge you with vital energy and as well with interest to dive in and to explore it to its full ex uh, extent. The accompanied card or to the Ace of Wands, this is going to be the Emperor formation, is a active supporters. You have to be very careful. That is a very big energy here that we do have, a fiery energy which could eventually, or not eventually, but at some point could burn you out. So with the Emperor, it seems that that is going to be the enterprise you need in order to sort out your life either relationship-wise, either career-wise, or maybe that is going to be the bridge in between, which is going to consolidate both fields and you are to find yourself in a, uh, how can I place it, in a position to uh, face the ups and downs there are much more bearable. So that is to be the thing you need, guys, to take control back over your life or to structure your life in a such fashion that you are to maintain, regain or maintain control over everything. Also, these cards relate to hobbies and relates to uh, things which creates passion in you. 
and if nothing else you are to find a lot of free time in order to attend to your hobbies so for example if i was virgo that means that i will have a lot of time to play video games that is just for example guys or there will be a new video game which is going to truly enthrall me here. So uh, you can see, you know, that these cards uh, can relate to literally everything. But once again, Virgos, if your life is quite boring and you cannot find any amusing things in it, well, wait the week to kick in. And uh, in, in, in the first couple of days, that is, you should truly find this gaining for enterprise, which will uh, allow you to feel alive once again. So uh, what is the negative approach to that situation? We do have the Magician, very baffling card here. Uh, to me, this card is a sign to be uh, careful in a sense of uh, not taking the things way too serious. The Magician is the very initiative step into one's endeavor and it is related to big amounts of sovereignty as well iron will you know determination and engraving personal signature into the things that we do and when it when it sits into a negative position it does mean that the communications may be lacking throughout this week or we may lack our communications and our determination as well so uh, it's more like uh, how could i say it? a card of wishfulness in the sense of that you should um work it out so bigger determination and uh elaborative communications are going to be the best going through this uh this week but as well to me especially looking at the third card here which is the queen of cups it gives a little bit more clarity to the negative card is uh, it relates to a bit of a premature uh, initiation in a sense of that first a good plan needs to be created regarding this uh, new gaining for enterprise or this new beginning before you actually jump into determinate actions what this means is that of course at the start you know you can try the situation from one angle and from different angles as well and so on and so forth but the final push needs to be made after you do examine every single possible angle that you can approach the situation from the accompanied card of the magician that is going to be the hermit so we do have a active uh, enemies here and uh, yeah it's it, it these cards are pointing that because you are going to be excited thrilled you know and feeling like the world is brought down to your knees you may do some wrong moves is are those wrong moves are going to be crucial it, it's very possible with the hermit here i mean you can focus on what is not substantial that is what i'm trying to say so the enterprises could be more than one okay and you have to carefully analyze and decide which of those enterprises it's uh it's substantial for your well-being and when you kind of like indulge yourself with uh, with creating the plan manifesting the plan uh that's uh, that will take in order to develop this enterprise only then you jump into actions because with the magician into a negative position it's, it's very possible that you may become a victim of the circumstances, meaning losing full control over the, the outcome and the chain of events that are accompanied, accompanied after this uh, enterprise is stirred. So which leads us to the third to the third card here, which is the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups, when we talk about positivity, is all about patiently waiting and making plans waiting for the right time to come and indulging ourselves with our emotions realizing what is going to make us happy okay so whenever the enterprise arise you have to think of how this enterprise is going to make you happy and what do you want out of it so let's say this is a a new love interest okay do you want that new love interest to be a short-term one do you want it to be just like the previous love interest you had or do you want to be something special and if you want to be something something special take the time to think you know how you can make it special and as soon as you do so and follow truly the, the the feelings of your heart is what this card asks so follow the feelings and the emotions of your heart and that will transform you and transcend you as well so to me 
uh, how you should approach this uh, this enterprise well it's it's more emotionally oriented than logically oriented as the magician is pu purely logically oriented okay so for example if you like someone it's it's and your intuition tells you to to tell them that you like them you know even if logically wise you think that that is going to shame you in any way it will be best if you follow your intuition so highly in intuitive week it is what you have to experience um, throughout april 1st to april 6 2019 uh, additionally to that you need to um, uh, have a bigger trust into your sense into the human nature meaning that you do know what people need and you do know what people dislike as well so that will give you a huge edge when it comes to interactions cooperations you know or tackling with love interests as well the accompanied card here this is going to be the page of uh, the ace of uh, pentacles excuse me and through you patiently waiting and indulging with your emotions defining you know which is the best possible approach for you that is guys you are to find a remarkable opportunity to further your goal and through that opportunity you are to be successful into your business you are to create that love interest for example with a huge amount of harmony as well uh, flawlessly harmonious um, or harmonious flow of uh, one relationship and that will create a, a big amount of content and a big amount of satisfaction as well these two cards are very uh, are very positive and a long lasting cards that is but should you be once again intuitive and um, always follow the uh, the feelings of your heart even if your brain tells you uh, otherwise so um, once you do that um, <clears throat> At the end of the week, we do have the moon card. So that is the final outcome of growth. And the full card, uh, the, the moon card, excuse me, as a uh, outcome of growth places you in the right direction. Okay, this is where, uh, for example, if you are asking, am I on the right track with following this guidance here and taking advantage of this new enterprise, you are to be on the right track. Even if, at that place, it may not seem that way because the moon card always exerts um, a sense of insecurity, all right, and a sense of vagueness, being baffled what you should do or are you supposed to be in this place? But uh, the positive outlook here is the path that you need to walk. Yeah, even if it goes beyond the summit, it is your path to walk. So uh, we can conclude here for you, Virgos, is that at the end, you are to find yourself in the place where you are supposed to be, meaning you are to find yourself with the person you are supposed to be. You are to find yourself in the work that you are supposed to be or with the colleagues that you're supposed to be and so on and so forth. The accompanied card that is going to be the lovers here, the formation is passive neutrals and it looks like that uh, that will be quite thrilling all right the harmony is going to be a bit disrupted but this disruption is going to cause wavering all right a waves of ups and downs is going to be uh, for example if it is about relationship it's going to be that thrilling relationship where you are to be kind of baffled of the next move of this person and uh, you are going to have the butterflies in the stomach and so on and so forth all these exciting times that we had as teenagers for example and uh in general, this uh, this combination here, I kind of points that as well, uh, whatever decisions you, you make regarding this enterprise moving forward are unlikely to be wrong uh, because with, uh, with this formation of cards, it seems that either of those decisions are going to suit you very well. Matter of personal preferences as well, many issues that you do have uh, which are related to different situations are going to lose complete relevance. Giving you straight away an example here, you have a, uh, let's say a girlfriend or a boyfriend, it doesn't matter, you know, and the, uh, the relationship is on a verge of break. And that is a big problem, you know, but throughout this week, new enterprise come around, new suitor, you know, and you having new suitor, it's completely makes the problem of the relationship, which is almost to break completely irrelevant to you. It's, it's just, it's not your problem anymore. So yeah, you can feel at the end of the week, a, a lightning uh, of a, a problem burdens. 
and moving along with much uh, with much more freedom around your neck to to play with the circumstances and to see what is uh, there for you but definitely at the end Virgo should you follow that guidance being intuitive you know and uh, taking your time to plan your actions it seems that you are to fall on the right place the place that you are supposed to be with the person that you are supposed to be or with the job that you are supposed to be as well so that being said Virgos this was your weekly tarot reading for April 1st to April 6 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again as a general reading is going to relate to uh, is going to relate to a different thing and is going to resonate in a different ways with every single different Virgos but if you do want a uh, more personal touch meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot just like I did for the few examples in this video and to give it a, a prediction for its future that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. That being said, uh, I'm signing out now. See you next time. Bye.